Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Matt here, and today I'm making this video just to give some updates on the CZ457 here. I recently picked up a Voodoo 360, you can see back here on the uh, cases of ammo, and people have been messaging me on Instagram asking what I plan to do with the 457, if it's up for sale, and things like that. Uh, the short answer is no, I still plan to use it quite a bit going forward, and as you can see here, I've made some changes to it that I haven't showed on video yet. The two main things I've done is of course get a new IBI barrel as well as custom Cerakote the ACC which you can obviously tell is no longer in FTE. So we're going to talk about those two things in this video but I also want to mention first that I plan to do a little giveaway of just some small miscellaneous items mostly stickers at the end of this video so if you're interested in entering for this little giveaway stay tuned um, for that. But first again let's talk about this 457. So kind of to explain the background of everything, I was registered for either seven or eight matches in May and June. Unfortunately, because of the COVID lockdown that we had in our province, everything was either postponed or canceled, which is really unfortunate. However, I decided to use the downtime of those two months to send out the ACC to be Cerakoted as well as order a new barrel. So that's exactly what I did since again, I didn't need my rifle in the kind of competition setup. And I also still had my other 457 as a spare if I really needed to. So let's go on to the barrel first because people ask me all the time about my old IBI barrel. If you have seen my older videos, you may know that back in 2020, I think it was August, I actually picked up an IBI barrel then. I ended up getting rid of that barrel, not because it didn't perform well, but if you see in my videos, I switched back to the MTR barrel. Essentially, I wanted to create a very robust shooting profile for my MTR barrel in my ballistics calculator. And at the time, I already had a lot of data for the MTR barrel, and I also wanted to shoot it through both the summer and winter seasons. So that's exactly what I did. And not only that, but my spare 457 also had an MTR barrel, which I verified shot the same, essentially, as my main MTR barrel. So now that I have a very robust profile in Strelok for my MTR, I decided to get another IBI just to give it a go for my own curiosity and just for testing purposes. The other IBI barrel I had again shot very well, but the velocities I was getting out of it were significantly different from my MTR barrel and I just wanted to kind of focus on one thing at the moment uh, at the time. So let's talk about this IBI barrel now. I was talking to Ryan at IBI and we spec'd out this barrel for my 457. What I ended up getting here is a 21 inch heavy straight profile and it also has a threaded uh, muzzle half inch by 28. Now originally I got it threaded because I wanted to put the barrel tuner that is currently on my Voodoo on the 457 but uh, I'm going to leave it on the Voodoo now so I just have a thread protector. The thread protector here did not come with the barrel. I simply took it off another rifle I had and you'll notice a little spacer here. This spacer was actually made by Brent who is my buddy. We squatted together at the Eastern Championships and he offered to make the spacer for me really nicely out of aluminum when he knew I was in need of one so I really appreciate that and this just helps recess the barrel into the thread protector a little bit so when I inevitably smash my barrel into a barricade during a stage it just protects the crown of the barrel. Uh, anyway going on to the fluting here I decided to get some spiral fluting cut into the barrel purely for aesthetics I had seen other IBI barrels with this fluting on the firing line before and I just thought it looked really cool so I asked Ryan to do that on my barrel for me. The rifling in it is your standard 1 in 16 inch twist. I actually had an option, Ryan offered to cut it in a 1 in 12 inch twist but I decided against it only because I wanted it to be a little bit more of a straight comparison with the MTR barrel which of course has a 16 twist in that barrel as well. So I definitely will be doing some in-depth testing between this IBI barrel and the MTR later in the future. But that's why I went with that rifling. And the chamber that's cut into this barrel is the same as my original IBI barrel. It's the Calfi 4 spec, which Ryan usually recommends. I think it's kind of just their go-to chamber for all their uh, rimfire prefits. It's supposed to work really well. Uh, it's still a nice tight chamber, but you can still chamber things like CCI standard velocity. So that is the new IBI barrel. Ryan mentioned I should put at least a brick or two through the pipe before I really start 
testing it in terms of groups and velocities because it'll settle in a bit, which I think is totally fair. So at the time of filming right now, I've only brought this out to the range once. I'm doing a round counter. I only have just over 80 rounds through the barrel, so it's still pretty uh, brand new. But when I hit, let's say, the 750 round mark, so a brick and a half, I'll start really testing it more in depth and comparing it to the MTR barrel. So stay tuned for that. We'll do that in the future on the channel here. All right, so that's the barrel. Let's talk about the Cerakote now. The MDT ACC here used to be all FDE, which is the way I got it from MDT, which is totally fine, but I just kind of wanted to breathe some new life into the 457. Keep in mind, um, I explained this kind of in my Voodoo video, but the new Voodoo here, I got a lot quicker than I thought I was. I had full intentions to finish at least the 2021 CRPS season with the 457 here. So that's why I had it Cerakoted and got a new barrel and everything. That said though, I probably still will shoot it for some matches. And again, I'm doing a lot of testing with it going forward. So I sent this uh, chassis out to Maxime at Alpha Custom and Precision. I essentially knew how I wanted it painted. I described to him exactly how I wanted it and the colors and everything. And he did a fantastic job in bringing that to reality. I hope it comes across on camera, but it might be a little bit difficult to see. But the front half of the chassis is a, an ODG and the back half is the Cerakote Sniper Gray. And I wanted the transition to be pretty subtle. So in the middle here, it's kind of like a digi camo effect that fades the ODG into the sniper gray. Now I purposely chose two colors that were the same kind of tone and depth because I wanted the transition to be pretty subtle, which I think turned out really nicely. The orange, I just kind of threw on for a little bit of um, accents. So I sent him obviously the bolt knob and then he put some orange on the magwell some parts on the front there, as well as the adjustment knobs on the back here. And I think it gives it a nice little pop of color. So that's essentially what happened to the ACC. Again, Maxime over there at Alpha, Alpha Custom and Precision did a really good job. The stencil work is very nicely done and everything has a nice even kind of finish to it. The rings and barrel tuner I also sent out with the ACC and they were also Cerakoted in the ODG color. Now keep in mind, those were originally gonna go on the 457, hence why they were Cerakoted to match. But now that they're on the Voodoo, they're gonna stay there. Uh, lucky enough, it's a fairly similar shade of green to the MPA chassis, although it is a little bit darker, but doesn't really matter. They're gonna stay on the Voodoo. Again, I, at the time, had full intentions of shooting this thing for quite uh, some more time before I ended up picking up the Voodoo. But that's essentially it. Uh, I'm very happy with how the Cerakote job turned out. Some people might argue that a custom Cerakote job doesn't affect the performance of your rifle, but all of us experienced guys know that a custom Cerakote job makes you shoot better. So that's another reason why I had that done. <laughs> all right, so let's go on to the little giveaway that I wanna do here. It's nothing crazy. Again, this is just mostly stickers. But I figured if you're like me and you like stickers, you'd appreciate a little chance to win some stickers and small items. So first I'll explain how to enter into this little giveaway. It's very simple. All right, so my camera died, of course. I'm not sure exactly when, but I think I was explaining how to enter this little giveaway. Essentially, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is comment on this video and let me know what your favorite video on my channel has been so far. And that's it, you're entered. It can be for anyone worldwide. And just to show you what comes in, oh, before I forget, the draw will end on Friday, which I believe is the 25th, I wanna say, June 25th. And I will just choose a random name using a number generator and I'll post the winner. Uh, I'll just pin a comment with the winner's name to the comment section and you can get in contact with me and we'll get this stuff out to you. So just going through what this little uh, package of stuff consists of, it's mostly just stickers as I mentioned before. But first we have an MDT chamber flag. These are the chamber flags I use in my rim fires. I simply just cut the tail to about two inches in length and I round it off so it looks all nice. Um, but if you have a center fire, of course, this will work perfectly fine. I have another chamber flag from IDTS as, as well as their sticker. Uh, but this one's pretty cool because it has a magnet on here. So it kind of uh, attaches itself to your receiver. And uh, I tried to use one of these, another one in my rimfire, but it didn't work really well. I tried to cut it down and stuff. So probably better for a center fire rifle. I have a patch from Go Big Tactical and this little cheap, I guess, can insulator thing that MPA tossed in the box with my chassis. 
And onto the stickers, we have two of my channel stickers here. Go Big Tactical sticker, a big honkin' IBI sticker that actually came with the IBI barrel. That's on the 457 now. I have two of these Keep Calm and Ring Steel stickers in slightly different sizes. Two MDT stickers, a sticker from Yeti, like the, uh, the thermos. And lastly, two large Canadian Rimfire Precision Series stickers. So again, to enter, simply just comment in the comment section your favorite video that I've uh, made for my channel so far, and I will choose a winner randomly on Friday. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer. If not, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Cheers.